Today we are going to learn about finding unknown coefficients of polynomials. The national five essential skills for this are solving equations and also solving simultaneous equations. Finding unknown coefficients. We can find missing coefficients if we know a factor of a polynomial or we know the value of the remainder. For example, if we have the polynomial x cubed plus 2px squared minus bx plus 4, where p is a constant, we can divide the polynomial by x minus h and then obtain an expression for the remainder in terms of our unknown constants. If we already know the value of the remainder, we can create an equation to solve our problem. This will become clear when we go through an example together. The key steps are using synthetic division, creating an equation with your known remainder, whether that's zero or another value, and solving the equation to find the unknown coefficient. Example one, if x minus three is a factor of two x cubed, plus 3x squared minus px minus 15, we need to find the value of p. We'll first of all set up synthetic division and write our coefficients in our top line. And we'll also write our divisor x equals 3 on the outside of our table. Bringing the number 2 down, 2 of these are 6, 3 plus 6 is 9, 3 nines 27, Negative p plus 27 can be written as 27 take away p and then multiply by 3 will give 81 take away 3p. I'm going to put the remainder as 0 because x minus 3 we were told was a factor therefore we can assume the remainder is 0. We then have negative 15 plus 81 minus 3p is equal to 0. Simplifying to 66 minus 3p equals 0. Change the side and change the sign of your negative 3p to get 66 is equal to 3p. Given a final answer of p is equal to 22. Example 2. When fx is equal to px cubed plus qx squared minus 17x plus 4q is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 6, and x minus 1 is a factor of fx. Find the values of p and q. So you'll notice in this example we have two missing coefficients, q and p, but we also have two bits of information that will help us find those missing coefficients. Starting with x minus 2, if we put this through synthetic division, 2 multiplied by p, 2p, 2p plus q, multiplied by 2, we'll get 4p plus 2q, we then need to add on negative 17, giving 4p plus 2q take away 17. Multiplying this by 2 is 8p plus 4q take away 34. Now we are told that if we divide by x minus 2, the remainder is 6. This will then create the equation 4q plus 8p plus 4q minus 34 is equal to 6, which rearranges to give 8p plus 8q equals 40. We're now going to use the other piece of information we were given, that x minus 1 is a factor of fx. Therefore, put 1 through synthetic division. 1 times p is p, q plus p. Then multiply this by 1 will be p plus q. Add negative 17, p plus q minus 17. 
multiply by 1 and then finally as x minus 1 is a factor we automatically put the remainder as 0. Now we can create the equation 4q plus p plus q minus 17 equals 0. Simplifying to p plus 5q is equal to 17. We now have two equations with two unknowns. Therefore, we can solve them simultaneously. I need to ensure that I have the same coefficient in front of either P or Q to solve simultaneously. Therefore, I'm going to divide the top equation through by 8, which will give me P plus Q equals 5. Writing my bottom equation underneath, I'll then need to subtract to eliminate my P's. Q take away 5Q is negative 4Q and 5 subtract 17 is negative 12. Dividing by negative 4 gives an answer of Q is equal to 3. So that's us found one of our missing coefficients. We must now sub Q equals 3 into any of the equations. I have chosen P plus 5Q equals 17. So we have P plus 5 times 3 equals 17. P plus 15 is 17. Therefore, P is equal to 2. Final answer is Q is 3 and P is 2. Now try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. The answers for A, P is minus 4 and Q is 3 and B, part 1, K is negative 5 and then for part 2, solving the equation we get an answer of X equals negative 2, 1 half and 1. For extra practice, please turn to page 138, exercise 7A and try questions 1 and 2. What have we learned today? Well, today we've looked at finding unknown coefficients within polynomials. To do this, we use synthetic division. We create an equation with your known remainder and we solve the equation to find the unknown coefficients. This may need to be done simultaneously if we have two unknown coefficients.